in the BIM world we need to uh, add some information in the object that maybe align with the uh, alignments from row or rail so in uh, latest uh, open row design update 7 we have a tool called access manager so the access manager is able to help us to batch to attach the items the microservice items to the object and we got the relation uh, information from the alignment as well so we can base on the uh, excel sheet that template for example in this case we can add a lot of um, sheets for different type of the items for example in this case i just using one for lightings and then i want to attach to all the cell and then you can have some alignment name uh, chain age offset access type etc you can have a default value and some of the uh, internal variables that you can get it as well for example the day the gps let the tail long the tail alignment name it is something that is a default that you can use in the access 10. so in using of it first of all i will go back to the reference files and then i will attach back the civil uh, geometry here with the civil geometry we can get the information here so i just go back to the 2d files so in this case, if um, you select the element, like it itself, you will just only get the um, cell information without any information. But now I want to attach the document, attach the lighting attribute, so I can run through the access manager. And then in the access manager, I can load the Excel back. And in Excel, I will select just one object. Of course, you can have a multiple sheet or multiple object. You can select the all element, selection set, fence, or name boundary. But most of important is the linear reference. I will select the linear reference for this reference alignment. So that I got a reference alignment names. In this case, I will use added. You can replace as an update, or you can remove as well. So, and the information you can also export to the shake file as well. So, in this case, I want to add, I just can apply access. So, it will got the access applied here. So, afterward, we just uh, dismiss about this, and then we just go back, select one of the object here, and then go back to the properties. And in the properties, you can easily see there's an items attached here. So in item, if we just um, go back to the cell, you will see the items information is already here. You will see the alignment name, drainage, offset, and uh, the side from the long, left and right, the uh, access type, the contractor, some of the dates, and even the GPS letter to longitude if you have a set up the coordinate system here. So this kind of attribute is able to export as I models, or even you do the micro-system report. To do microsystem report, you can simply just go back to the, for example, just go back to the drawing. And then you will see there's a com content. You will see there's a pack list. So I can just simply kick the pack list here. Or you can just simply go to item type here. So it can help you to uh, generate a lot of different things. Or in this case, I can go to the report if you want. This report is not about like the uh, civil geometry, it's just micro session report because we can have item type. So I just click new report definition here. So maybe I just click it is a ENM report and then I just go to select these uh, files, what kind of item types I can, I can select here. So I can select one or two item types if you want. So I go here, I just select the access tagging, the lighting. Okay, and then click OK to finish it. Then you can simply go to the next fields here. You have a columns, you can generate the report you want. So I just add it. For example, the lighting here, I can say I want the drainage, I want the SS type, contractor, contract, plan date, GPS location, etc. And uh, offset as well. So I just click OK. Then if uh, you know the uh, micro session tools, that's something that's called place as a table. Now you can place as a table here. So now if you zoom in, you will see the table is all with all the value here. So the value will give it to you. 
in the drawing. And this is related to the attribute. And the attribute can able to update by using a replace or remove to do it again. So you will have a both attribute and BOM based on open rows designer here.